All right, so now we're going to take a look at some more bug fixes. So if we play the game right now, there's a few things that come to mind as being an issue, and let's fix those problems. So if I throw my ball up here, okay, so I was able to get the extra ball power up, and now I have the extra ball spawning behind me. But you notice right there, the extra ball hit this ball and then kind of ricocheted off in a really slow direction and then finally went away. So that's an issue we're going to fix today. Another issue that's been happening here, there we go. I don't know if you guys saw it really quickly or not, but um, there was a really like a flicker of a, uh, a brick that appeared right there and then it went away. And that's a problem with our health system, which we're going to fix in just a minute. Um, okay, and there's another error from the ball colliding with the extra ball. And that time you probably all saw it. There were a bunch of um, bricks that showed up up here in just like a flash and then went away. So let's fix these issues. First, um, let's fix the problem with the ball and the extra ball. So to do this, um, we're going to make it so that Unity doesn't monitor any collisions between those two. So go to the ball, and right now it's set as layer as default. So what we're going to do, cancel that, is we're going to change the layer the ball is currently on. And so to do that, click on layer, go down to add layer. And I already added this earlier because I was playing around with it trying to get this fixed. So you want to add this uh, new layer, call it ball, and then once you uh, add the layer here, you didn't actually apply it to the ball, so you got to go back to the ball, change its layer to ball, and we're going to change the children. We're going to go to our prefabs, we're going to find our extra ball, not the power up, but the extra ball, and we're going to change its layer to ball as well, and change those children. Now that alone isn't enough to make it so that those two things don't collide with one another. To make it so that they don't collide, I'm going to go over here to uh, Edit, and then down to your Project Settings, and then you want Physics 2D. Not Physics, but Physics 2D. Now, this looks a little complicated. We're not getting into almost any of this. What you do want to do is look down here. There's this kind of logic puzzle looking thing. This will tell you what layers will interact with what other layers. For example, right now the ball, which is what our main ball and our extra ball are on, are going to interact with defaults, transparent effects, the like no ray casts, water, UI, and ball. So we want to make it so that ball doesn't interact with ball. So just unclick that check mark there. Uh, okay, so that's going to make it so that the two balls don't interact with each other. Now let's fix another error here, and this one isn't quite as prominent. Um, let's see if I can get it to happen here. One of these uh, bricks. Sometimes when you hit a brick, you'll see it kind of wobble. Maybe you want it to wobble. I don't know. I don't like them wobbling like that. I want them to appear like really solid in the environment. So to fix any wobble that might be happening, we're going to go to our, um, our three things that are appearing. We've got our extra ball power up, our square brick, and our triangle brick. And we're going to change their rigid body settings. Right now they're set to dynamic, which means that when they're hit by something, they kind of move. We're going to set it to kinematic, which means it only moves when we tell it to, not when it's hit by anything else. Um, we're going to leave it to be simulated, and we're going to freeze its positions, x, y, and z. Unity doesn't like doing that. It would rather we set it to static, but if we set it to static, then we can't move it again like we want to. We don't, can't have them moving down. So we want them to be kinematic, simulated, with all these uh, constraints. So square brick, we're going to do the same thing. Kinematic, simulated, all those restraints. Triangle brick, we're going to set that to kinematic, simulated, and all those constraints. OK, so now they won't wobble when we hit them. Uh, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to fix it so that uh, when those new bricks appear, you don't have that weird flicker of a brick being there and then it going away. Because eventually, you won't have any new bricks, depending on how many you hit. So to do this, we need to go into our Brick Health Manager here. So go ahead and find that in your Scripts folder. Uh, let me uh, make this bigger so that you can see it. This is the Movement Controller, and we want the Health Manager. So let's zoom in here a little bit more. Cool. All right. So the reason that the uh, bricks are flickering in and out of existence is because of the object pooling. 
And because we're reusing old bricks, when we destroy a brick, we're not actually destroying it, we're just setting it inactive. Um, that brick is maintaining its health, which was at zero. And because it went inactive, that's the reason it went inactive, because its health is at zero. In our update method here, we say that if the brick's health is less than or equal to zero, then we should set it inactive. So what's happening is the game manager is activating them, uh, putting them where they are, but at no point do we change its health to be not zero again. And so as soon as the first update pass comes, uh, it checks to see that the health is less than zero and then sets it inactive. That's why you see that weird flicker because they're there for a second and then they're gone. So to fix this, Unity has a method here which is called uh, on enabled. So we have start and start is something that is initialized, meaning it's only ever going to be called once for each object. Um, we want to use on enabled. So every time the object turns back on, we want to set its health to be whatever level we're at. So we're going to do void on enabled. And we want to just set the health to be the current level. So we need to be able to get the level from the game manager, which we already have a reference to. And we already have finished that reference and start. So this should be pretty easy. So we're going to say that our brick health is equal to game manager dot level. Okay. So now uh, if we pop back over into Unity, we should see a couple of our errors were fixed. So it's thinking. Let's hit play here. Uh, all right, cool. So we got our bricks generated. Throw this up. Let's try and get some of those extra ball power up so we can use them. And we got some extra balls. That was better. It didn't go in some weird direction. Uh, okay. No, did it again there. All right. So let's actually, I'm going to figure this out here. And here's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to pause, and then I'm going to go through this um, really quickly at the end there. So I'm going to pause it right before it hits the bottom. And I'm going to use this kind of step function, which steps per frame. So I want to find the exact frame when everything clicks over there. Now see their health is still zero. And that's why if I go to the next frame, you'll see them flicker out of existence. So did I do this? Did I name this right? Is on enable from back. I think I looked at the Unity API and I think it's supposed to be on enable and not on enabled. So let's check that out. Um, so I'm pause. Let's try this again. If you make a change to a script like that while you're still running a, an instance of the program, um, none of your changes will take effect. Uh, okay. On enable, no reference exception. Huh. I wonder if I have to tell it what the game manager is again. I didn't think I had to. Probably has to do with um, script execution. Let's try that really quickly here. Okay, it's thinking. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So let's just play this out for a little bit. Here comes the brick. Blonk. Sound effects help. We'll add sound effects later. All right, cool. I think that's enough that we would have seen it happening by now. Okay. It's starting. It's already starting to look a lot like the original game. Um. Cool. I think it would have happened by now if it was going to happen. So, cool. Looks like we fixed that issue. Um, next, what we need to do is make it so that we can actually end the game, so that when the bricks get to a certain point, the game ends. And then maybe some sound effects, maybe a game intro screen, and we'll be done. We'll be pretty close to finish with this project. So, 
Thank you very much. Have a great day.